good morning good afternoon good evening and good night whenever you saw this video i am tandil mayur and welcome to my new channel matsya sasmi where you can get the best fisheries data and today i will give you the presentation on the state of world fishery which means the world fisheries data published by food and agriculture organization 2020 so let's start the presentation by the name of lord ganesha why food is important so as you all know that food is a very basic things for all living animals and food security is world's main challenge in nowadays because estimated 842 million of people are suffer from chronic hunger and that growing demand of food is put an additional pressure on the natural resources now year by year our population is increasing and to fulfill their food demand we have to catch a more stock from the natural resources like ocean sea and lakes and that is put an additional pressure on the natural resources so here are the data of the natural resources here is the data published by fao 2020 the fish protein consumption in grams per capita per day here you saw on the screen the india's consumption is less than 2 gram and other countries consumption like australia and northern countries they have 4 to 6 or 6 to 10 grams of protein consumption per capita per day the reason reason behind it is a population India is the highest population after the China. India is having a fourth rank in capture production and second rank in aquaculture production. Through that, the per capita protein consumption is less than two grams of India because of the population. Here is the world status of fisheries resources, which contributed to capture fisheries data and aquaculture fisheries data. capture fisheries data in terms of inland capture fisheries and marine capture fisheries and aquaculture is also inland aquaculture and marine aquaculture the total world production is 178.5 million tons in which total capture production is 94.6 million ton and total culture production is 82.1 million ton Here you see in the red color graph that is a capture fisheries in inland water that is very low and in saffron color that is capture fisheries in marine water that is the highest catch in terms of the world production Here is the world fisheries production as we all know that the total production in 2018 is 178.5 million ton from which the total capture production is 96.4 million ton and total aquaculture production is 82.1 million ton from that the total human consumption is 156.4 million tons and non food uses is 22.2 million tons the per capita consumption is on 2018 is 20.5 kg here is the data of the total capture production in terms of inland capture and marine capture the inland capture is 12 million tons and marine capture production is 84.4 million tons in terms of aquaculture inland aquaculture have a highest production 51.3 million ton but this production is decreased in 2018 because as per the data of fao 2016 the inland aquaculture production in 2016 was 51.4 million ton that is decreased by 51.3 in 2018 and the marine aquaculture production is 30.8 million tons here is the production utilization that total production is 178.5 million ton in which the human consumption is 156.5 million ton which is 151.2 in 2016 the non food uses is also increasing by 22.2 million ton that is 19.7 in 
the per capita consumption is also increasing that is 20.5 kg that is 20.3 kg in 2016 here is the globally top 6 countries in the capture production and this top 6 countries is contributed almost 50% of the total capture production at the first at the first position china that is producing the 50% of the total catch of capture fisheries on the second position indonesia by 7% third position peru with the 7% and india holds the fourth rank with the 6% of the total capture fisheries on the fifth rank the russian federation with the 5% and the sixth rank the united states of america with the 5% highest producing species of the world 2018 in terms of capture fisheries so anchovita have a highest catch is more than 7 million ton that contributed 10% share of total capture productions then after on the second rank alaska polo there is 3.4 million tons and 5% share in total capture productions on the third rank skipjack tuna that is 3.2 million tons and it contributed 4% to the total capture production. After the capture production, here is the data of fishing fleet around the world. So, the estimated number of fishing vessels around the world are 4.56 million. The Asia alone contributed 68% of total fishing vessels around the globe. That is 3.1 million vessels are alone in Asia. In second rank, Africa's vessels that is represent 20%, then America's vessel that is represent 10% of the total share, then Europe and Oceania. In 2016, 86% of motorized boat is counted, with length overall is less than 12 meter. And in 2018, 67,800 fishing vessels that have at least 24 meters of length overall. Here is the graphical representation of the distribution of motorized and non-motorized fishing vessels by the region. As we all know that Africa stood at the first position, sorry, Asia stood at the first position, then Africa stood at the second position, then America stood at third position after Europe and Oceania with 0.3% of the total fishing vessels share around the globe. Here is the proportion of motorized and non-motorized fishing vessels by the region. So Asia contributed highest number of non-motorized and motorized fishing vessels around the globe. In Asia, there are 74.5% of total motorized fishing vessels. After Asia, there is Africa. In Africa, there are highest number of non-motorized fishing vessels. And motorized fishing vessel is 9.8. Then after America, Europe and Oceania. Oceania have a least number of the motorized and non-motorized fishing vessels. Here is the data of the three main category of the fishing area. That is temperate area, tropical area and upwelling area. Temperate area show a high production all time. Then after tropical area is always so upward direction to the production and very fluctuating production is in the upwelling area that is because of the temperature variation and seasonal variation now here is the important graph that is global trends in the state of world marine fish stock in which the blue color indicate the biological sustainable stock and the saffron color is indicate biological unsustainable stock here you see in 1974 or 1980, the MSY is very high, that is nearly 85%. But in 2016-2017, the MSY is almost reached down, down, down to 68%. The underfish stocks is decreasing year by year. We have overfished stock from the ocean. So as we overfishing, the maximum sustainable yield is decreasing year by year and underfish stock is also decreasing year by year. And here is the big problem. Here is the region specific productive area for capture fisheries. 
so as you saw in blue color that is biological sustainable stock and in the saffron color that is biological unsustainable stock so at last three area that is mediterranean and black sea pacific and southeast atlantic and south southwest is the highest number of biological unsustainable stock in terms of biological sustainable stock there is a highest stock in pacific eastern central pacific southwest pacific northeast and atlantic northwest area here is the lowest percentage of unsustainable stock that is 13 to 17% over facing stock and that area is area 77 area 71 area 67 area 61 and area 81 that have a lowest percentage of unsustainable stock in the ocean and the highest percentage of unsustainable stock in the area 37 that is 62.5 percentage of unsustainable stock then after area 87 and area 41 after the capture production and the fishing fleet here we go through the world aquaculture production so world aquaculture production in 2018 in terms of the aquatic animal culture aquatic algae culture or ornamental sea shells and pearl culture that contributed 114.5 million ton that sell value is 263.6 billion us dollar yeah i told you in previous slide that aquaculture production is 82.1 million tons but that production is only aquatic animal culture in terms of aquaculture that contributed all that is aquatic animal aquatic algae ornamental sea shells and pearl that contributed 140.5 million tons and here is the top 5 major producer country in aquaculture so china stood first with 47.6 million tons india secured the second rank with the 7.1 million tons then after indonesia on third vietnam on fourth and bangladesh on fifth rank here is the top 3 aquatic animal farming in the world so fin fish is the most farming animals in the world that is 54.3 million ton of the total production after that on the second rank the molluscs in that mainly bivalve that was 17.7 million tons and the crustaceans stood at the third position with the 9.4 million tons of the production and here is the top 5 producers of fin fish in terms of inland aquaculture and marine and coastal aquaculture in terms of inland aquaculture china stood at the first rank with 25.4 million tons and india secured a second rank with the 6.3 million tons then after third indonesia fourth vietnam and fifth bangladesh in the case of marine and coastal aquaculture of fin fish china stood at the first position but india stood at the 13th position with the 110 tons of the production from the marine and coastal aquaculture of the fin fish second position the norway third indonesia fourth vietnam and fifth is bangladesh top five producers of the crustacean in the, in terms of the crustacean production china is to the first rank with the 1.7 million tons of the production by the crustaceans at the second position indonesia the third position vietnam and india secured the fourth rank with the 682.3 tons of the crustaceans and the fourth one is eukaryota here is the top 6 major fin fish species produced in the world the china is stood in the first rank in the aquaculture so majority of fish that is cultured in the china country that uh, listed in this list at the first position the grass carp second silver carp third nile tilapia fourth one is a common carp fifth one is a big head carp and sixth is a cutla 
Dixit species is majority produced in the world. Top 6 crustacean species produced in the world. The penis vanamai or lithopenis vanamai that secure the first position. Then after on the second position, red swamp crocus. At third position, Chinese mitten crab. At fourth, giant tiger prawn. Number fifth and sixth is secured by Macrobatium niponsis and Macrobatium rosenbergi. Here is the major farmed seaweed producer. The China stood at the first rank, and the India stood at the 14th rank with the 5.3 thousand tons of seaweed in 2018. The good news is after 2016, India produces the higher seaweed production that is 4.9 in 2017 and 5.3 in 2018. Here is the fish utilization and processing. We produce 178.5 million tons but from that 88% or over 156 million tons were utilized for direct human consumption and 12% is used for non-food purpose that is 22 million tons. From that 12%, 82 or 18 million tons used for fish oil and fish meal production and 4 million tons is directly used for the aquaculture field. From the 88%, the 44% of total human consumption is preferred live, fresh or chilled fish. 35% frozen product consumed. Prepared and preserved product is 11% consumed and curd product that is dried, salted, brine, fermented or smoked fish that is 10% consumed around the world. And here is the graphical presentation of the world fish utilization and consumption. Here you see the non-food uses that is 22.2 million tons and the total productions in terms of the aquaculture and the captured productions. The total per capita consumption is here 20.5 in 2018. Here is the fish trades in terms of export and import. In 2018, about 38% or 67 million tons of fish is entered in the international market. The share of fish and fishery product for human consumption is shown the upward trade with a 27.6% in 2016. The developing countries like our India have a net trade revenue that is export minus import value is approximately 37 billion US dollar. That is more than the all meats, tobacco, rice, sugar combined. Here is the top exporter and importer country. In top exporter country, China is obviously on the first rank. The second one is Norway, third Vietnam, fourth rank is secured by the India, fifth child, and sixth one is the Thailand. In the case of top importer country, the European Union stood first, USA second, and Japan is third position. Here is the data of people of fish farmer that is engaged directly with the fishery sector. So, estimated 59.51 million people are directly engaged with this uh, fishery sectors. From that, capture fisheries contributed 39 million of people around the world and aquaculture contributed 20.5 million people. From 59.5 million people, 40 persons women accounted for the population. The highest number of fish farmers is contributed in by the Asia. It is 85 percentage. Then after second Africa with a 9 percentage. Then after Americas that have a 4 percentage and Europe and Oceania that have a 1 percentage. Here is the graph that shows the employment in the fisheries and aquaculture. That Asia is providing the highest employment in the fisheries sectors. And in Asia the aquaculture is providing the highest employment. Then after Africa have highest employment in the capture fisheries. America have also highest employment in the capture fisheries and Europe and Oceania. Oceania have a lowest percentage in the aquaculture employment. 
So here is the data published by Food and Agriculture Organization 2020. This information will help you in the competitive exams also. If you like this information then press the bell icon as hard as you can and also subscribe my channel must Jesus me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get the more information video in future.